Meanwhile, joining me right now is Congressman Michael Walsh, member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Green Beret. Uh, he fights wars, and now he's helping us with uh, well, analyze what's going on. Congressman, welcome. Your thoughts about what you hope the president and uh, talk to Bibi Netanyahu about. We're waiting for the readout about 8 o'clock Eastern time. They had, their, they had their conference call. What do you hope the president relayed to him? Well, Brian, I would hope that not only did uh, President Biden say it privately, but I would hope he would walk out to the White House lawn right now or first thing in the morning uh, and let the entire world know, uh, Israel, we have your back. Uh, our enemies need to hear that. Our allies need to hear that. Uh, and so, but I think the big question in my mind is if Israel decides to respond, if Israel decides to hit Iran, will we have their back? Look, uh, this could have been just a check the block uh, kind of response, like Iran did after Soleimani, after President Trump took out their field general. And President Trump, after that, despite all of the pearl clutching from the Democrats and others, President Trump stepped off that escalation ladder. He said, that's it. Uh, it's over. Uh, Israel could take that kind of uh, response here. But look, at the end of the day, I think Israel is, is going to respond. And the question is, will we support it? How should they respond? Because they did go out through their spokesperson and say, in fact, let's hear that. This is Rear Admiral uh, Daniel Hagari. This is his assessment of the damage done to his country from, the, from the, uh, as many as 200 missile strikes uh, or aimed, uh, missiles aimed at Israel. Watch. So far, we have intercepted the vast majority of incoming missiles by Israeli systems. So far, we have intercepted and are continuing to, inter to intercept dozens of attack drones as well as cruise missiles and ballistic missiles outside of Israel's border. A number of Iranian missiles fell inside Israeli territory, cause causing minor damage to a military base with no casualties. Only one little girl has been hurt, and we hope she will be well. So minor damage, or no one hurt except for one girl, one little girl. We hope the best. Your thoughts about that language? Yeah. Well, look, I think they're pointing out that uh, they did not sustain uh, major civilian casualties despite Iran throwing all of this at them. It was a huge success uh, for Israeli and U.S. and coalition missile defense. And I have to say the coalition that the Trump administration put together through the Abraham Accords, you know, has pulled in the Saudis, the Jordanians, uh, and so many of the Gulf allies. Uh, just a few years ago, nobody would have imagined the Gulf Arab states standing with Israel and helping defend Israel against an Iranian attack. And it was only through the Abraham Accords and the Trump administration that all of this is is now happening but the biggest way Brian that uh, we could support Israel now is dry up the cash in Iran they're going to have billions of dollars it's Chinese money buying 90 percent of illegal Iranian oil uh, that because we're not enforcing the sanctions. So they're going to be able to do this over and over again. They're going to be able to resupply Hamas, keep supplying Hezbollah, mm -hmm. keep building these drones that they're also giving to the Russians to attack Ukraine, and also resupply the Houthis until we get to the source of the problem, and that is going right. back to maximum pressure on Iran. So you said that this is a big win for China. Is that part of the reason you believe that? Because they're going to get the cheap oil from Iran and we're more distracted they're uh, away from Taiwan? <laughs> yeah. They're getting cheap oil from, uh, from Iran, number one. Number two, all of the ships, the U.S. Navy ships, that are wearing themselves out in the Red Sea and the Mediterranean should be in the Pacific or at home getting ready to go to the Pacific and, and getting repairs. And then thirdly, Brian, these million dollar missiles that we're shooting at thousand dollar drones, we already didn't have a lot of them. Uh, and those we will also need in the Pacific. We're exhausting ourselves in the Middle East once again. And Xi Jinping and the Chinese are smiling all day long. And it's all because of bad policy out of this White House. And we're waiting to find out what exactly, what is the readout from that phone call. And it's going to be, if you know President Biden, it's going to be, let's not do anything. Don't escalate. You heard me because you see the, the way the interactions have gone lately. 
Uh, thanks so much, right. and we'll have that in a little, a little while. Every we time he says de-escalate, Iran sees opportunity, and that's the, that's the core of the problem. Yeah, thanks, we're Brian. supposed to get that in 15 minutes. Thanks, Congressman. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.